¿Listo? Eh, el quinto ya está. Espero que esté enviando. Ahí están las cinco. Perfecto. Entonces vamos a iniciar. Yo te hago la pregunta, te echo la respuesta y te doy mismo la retroalimentación, ¿vale? Ya estoy chido. Listo. Entonces vamos a iniciar. What is the most unknown food you have eaten during a trip? And the most uh, unknown food you have eaten during the trip, um, in this case, in Toulouse Sucre, is the tilapia. Uh, because the, uh, it was, yes, it was menu of the uh, exquisitous and delicious, uh, this fish in Caribbean okay. Caribbean Sea. Ok, listo. Cristian, hay una cuestión. Como pregunta te la estoy haciendo a ti, what is the most unknown food you have eaten? Entonces la respuesta tú no es con you, responde con I, porque me estás contando tu experiencia. ¿Correcto? Ay, ay, sí, ay. Sí, sí, intentando explicar. Listo, entonces... Sí, porque tú me dijiste you, you es como si usted si estuviera diciendo que yo he comido eso y yo nunca he ido por allá a Tulu, ¿fue qué dijiste? No, no recuerdo, ¿fue qué dónde es que dijiste? Sí, es ahí, en esa ocasión. Listo, entonces, teniendo en cuenta eso, te escucho de nuevo la respuesta. Te hago la pregunta de nuevo y te escucho de nuevo la respuesta. What is the most unknown food you have eaten during a trip? Ok, teacher. The answer is the next The most unknown that I be eating during the trip is the tilapia. Because when, um, when in the restaurant near of the Caribbean Sea, I, I like um, this fish uh, called tilapia. Tilapia, okay. But I have a question, Christian. If I'm not mistaken, tilapia is a very common fish, right? You can find it here. Right, teacher. Um, here in, I mean, the rains, right? The Caribbean Sea is typical food in this region. Okay. So, but I think it's possible to get tilapia here. For example, you are from La Casillas, right? Um, I, I don't know, teacher. But in the Caribbean <laughs> Sea, I see uh, these fishes um, in Caribbean Sea. Yeah, they are very common there. It's typical. It's a typical dish over there, right? Right, teacher. Okay, so let's continue with the question number two, okay? Yes, teacher. Okay, what was the most expensive place you visited in your city? The answer is the next. The most expensive place that I visited in my city is the Primavera Urbana Shopping Center because in this place is replaced the natural and animals such as birds, Bears, etc. And also, there are many things that are expensive. For this reason, this shopping center is the most expensive place in Villa Vicencio. Okay, good. But but a question, Christian, because Primavera Urbana has different stores, right? Yes. It has apes, it has uh, Opticas de Llano, it has different stores, right? Different stores. So my question is, inside Primavera Urbana, which is the most expensive store that you can find there? Yes, teacher. Um, really, the Primavera Urbana Shopping Center is considered um, expensive because the major thing, the major of the things 
eh, are expensive. Expensive, eh, shampoo, eh, uh, uh, many things que I don't know um, anywhere more. Okay. Okay, so in short, there are different stores and most of those stores are expensive. Not only one, nor two, but many of those stores are expensive, right? Is that what you said? Yes, teacher. The best stores in this okay, uh, good. shopping center <laughs> such as Falabella, Farmatodo, uh, Cinemark, mm -hmm. uh, many restaurants of the Llano City. Ok, es que como se está entrecortando la, la comunicación, no sé si tú me escuchas fluidamente, yo ahorita se me, se me entrecortó y casi puedo escuchar tu respuesta, pero ya te entendí la idea. ¿Tú me estás escuchando bien? Ya, yes, teacher. Bien, listo, es que ahorita se me entrecortó un poco, pero vale, listo. Continuamos entonces con la... Hasta el momento, pues bien, de... hay unas cositas de pronunciación por Puli, pero pues son poquitas. La idea es que tú te defiendes, o sea, hasta el momento has entendido las preguntas que te he hecho e incluso es un poquito más difícil porque te he hecho pregunta sobre pregunta. Entonces, hasta el momento vamos bien. ¿Listo? Yes, teacher. <laughs> okay, Christian? Yes, teacher. So, we're going to continue with the next question, which is number three, okay? Yes, teacher. <laughs> Good. So, the question is, what are the best things that have happened to you during your trip? Many two things, please. Okay, teacher. The answer is the next. The first things that I be happen during my trip is playing on the beaches on eh, in Tolu, beaches in Tolu, because I explored I explored eh, many things about the dreams in the sea in the seas i never i think swimming in the sea and drones also uh, in the beach uh, many cartoons uh, of my of my fans of my child cartoons you said cartoons uh, yes teacher Infants or child when um when I was shy I I I was shy yes teacher I don't understand when I explain for this reason I I intend uh, on the right okay. Christian, but wait a minute, because there is something I didn't understand. You started talking about the beaches in Tolu, right? And you said it was wonderful because you liked those beaches. But something that I didn't understand is the relation between the beaches of Tolu and the cartoons. Could you please explain again? Because I don't see any relation. Really? On, really? On the beach? is run with for my social networks uh, promoting um, such as YouTube uh, um, subscriptors, uh, for example, uh, anyway. Are you a YouTuber, Christian? Yes, teacher. Uh, okay, I have a question. What kind of content do you create what kind of content do you upload to you yes teacher uh, in july 2021 in tolu i did uh, drown on the beach because the people uh, people expectatives the they grow up and um, the the drones about my 
personal life of music, multimedia productions, and more. For this reason... Okay, I have a question. What's the link of your YouTube channel? Can I share your YouTube channel? Can I have the link? Yes, teacher. I do. All right. Expire. Okay, I'll wait. I want to see wait, your content. Wait a minute. I subscribe to your channel, and but also, I need to know what your channel is. And also, is. I have um, a website. You have a website? Okay, website good. Website you a musician? the music. Music. Uh, is the yes, but are you a musician? Professional life in, in this. Sí. Yes, teacher. Ah, okay. Chris Music is your channel on YouTube, right? Yes, teacher. It's my professional life. Okay, that's interesting. Didn't know that. Okay, cool. Okay, Christian, let's and, continue with the question. Okay? And, Tell me. And other thing in the travel is speaking my new friend um, when I I send up, stand out um, lis listening the birds and um, sounds of the traffic. E no, and uh, and other nears asking me asking my la, my experience life and this reason I and uh, Maria Jose this uh, uh, real name of the girl uh, best friends. Yeah. And no, I and Maria Jose are best friends. Okay, let me let me get this. Tell me if I got it right, okay? So you met her during a trip. The name of that girl is Maria Jose. Yes, teacher. And you are best with her. Is that right? Yes, teacher. I meet on on okay. the bus. So you you met bus. her. You met her during a trip. Sí. The bus on the bus. You met her on the bus, right? Yes, teacher. Okay. Cool. Nice. Now, nice. okay. Good. Let's move on. Let's continue with the question number four. Okay. Yes, teacher. Okay, Christian. What are the worst things that have happened to you during your trip? Tell me two things, please. The worst things. Where, 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 where? The as where is the nest? The worst okay. things Tell that me. I be happened during the trip, during my trip, okay? During my wait, trip. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. It's not the worst thing that I did happen, no. Worst things that happened to me, okay? The worst things that happened to me, okay, Christian? Yes, teacher. I'm okay. I'm okay. Uh, the worst. Okay, repeat, please. The worst things that I have happened during my. No, 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 no. That I have happened. No, that happened to me. Okay, uh, I have uh, happened. No, it's not correct. That happened to me. Okay. Happened. Uh, negative. Yes, teacher. The worst things that have happened to me, uh, and you keep on, okay? Uh, yeah, teacher. Do it. Um, and again, um, the worst thing again. that ha happened during my trip. Are yeah, better. Yeah. First, the bad connection at the hotel in Toulouse when at the night, nothing uh, entertaining such as uh, play, uh, video games with connection. And also uh, because it also, and also because the leader uh, 
was angry uh, over me and uh, but and but also um, enjoy for the reason and uh, some deeds um, the bad connection and um, wall and then nothing I would I would la I wouldn't like um, the uh, the comportment of the leader behavior not behavior. comportment behavior. behavior I didn't like the behavior of I the leader I didn't like okay? behavior um, of the leader okay good and let's continue with question number five okay yes teacher ah you already answered this question because you told me that maria jose was a girl that you met during that right yes teacher uh, i okay so question number i say to explain um, the five uh, questions okay uh, have you okay. ever a new friend okay okay teacher I meet a new friend during that trip called Maria Jose. Sign, not since, since um, when the July twenty six uh, of the year twenty twenty one on the bus at the night and go to the airport El Dorado. I yeah. see a girl. I saw. I saw. I saw. I saw. I saw also this in one on in is one of the visitors that arrive on the airplane to arrive to Ipor Los Garzones in Cerete, Cordoba. And okay. Then I I keep with my family accompanied my mother and my grandmother to Tolu. The the travel Hello. is uh, dreams and uh, over discover, but I are right in Tolu, and when playing on the beach, the girl Maria Jose near um, to play on the beach. Okay. But I have a question, Christian. I have a question. Where is Maria Jose from? What city is she from? Is she from the Vicencia? Yes. Is she teacher. from La Casillas? Uh, Maria Jose lives in Villa Vicencia. And also I live in Villa Vicencia. Ah, okay. But in different yeah. neighborhoods. Of course, of course, yeah. It would be a coincidence to live in the same neighborhood. Okay, good. Okay, Christian, so we're going to stop here because I need to prepare my next interview, okay? Yes, teacher. Listo, Christian, digamos que en términos generales eres capaz de expresar la idea y eres capaz de, de entender qué es lo que se te está preguntando. Eso es muy bien. Hay que, pu que pulir algunas cositas, como por ejemplo lo que te digo. La peor cosa que pasó a mí no es the worst thing that I have happened, no. Que yo he pasado, no. La peor cosa que me a mí. The worst thing that have happened to me. ¿Listo? Sin agregar el I. Entonces es muy posible que entiendas y que seas capaz de expresarte, pero entonces sí hay unas cositas que se deben, pero pues bueno, eso es normal porque por lo menos tienes, digamos, esa habilidad de expresar las ideas. ¿Sí? No importa que no sea de manera perfecta, pero te das a entender y eso es súper importante. Y esa es la idea de la entrevista, que no sea como tan guionado tanto leer como la respuesta sino que sea más esporádico y en el sentido pues lo hiciste muy bien 
¿Listo, Cristian? Pues nada, te invito a participar en los bonos. No he revisado últimamente porque he estado calificando la tarea número 3, pero por favor, eh, participa en los, foros, en, los, en los tiempos establecidos. Eh, en el foro y de listo, hoy. me envías el pantallón de esta reunión. Eh, profe, en el foro, ayer yo, en, ayer yo envié en el foro pues las participaciones como tal de los cuatro ejercicios. Ah, bueno, listo, perfecto, listo, es eso. Entonces, bueno, ya bueno, también tiene ensayo. que estar revisada tu nota del ejercicio 3, de la tarea 3, revísala y cualquier cosa me escribes, ¿listo? Sí, por eso yo también eh, avisé esta mañana sobre, pues, de las participaciones, o más bien reto las invitaciones en el foro para poder corregir. Listo. Sí, yo pues voy a atender el foro, pero ya será el fin de semana, porque ahorita estoy como entregando las calificaciones de la tarea 3. Entonces, sobre el fin de semana hago la retroalimentación de los foros. ¿Listo, Cristian? Ok, teacher. Bye, bye. Listo, Cristian. Que tengas una feliz tarde. Un gusto. Que estés muy bien. Chao, chao. Bye, bye teacher. Bye, bye.